plastic bottles are everywhere. In our fridges, bars, supermarkets, but also our oceans. This video will show you the entire life cycle of a plastic bottle. The plastic bottle starts its journey in oil or gas rich countries since plastic resin is made with these resources. Once extracted, the crude oil makes its way into barrels. If exported to other countries, transportation and containerization is then needed, which also contributes to global emissions. The journey then leads us to some of the biggest ports in the world, such as Shanghai or Shenzhen. China is the top crude oil importer in the world and harbors giants of the petrochemical industry. The oil is then sent to refineries to be transformed into monomers. Monomers are basically the building blocks of polymers, in other words, plastic. The plastic resin that makes the bottles is then transported and exported to be manufactured for plastic bottle companies. Bottles are then formed, packaged and sold in mass. Indeed, according to Euromonitor, 1 million plastic bottles are sold every minute. Once consumed, bottles are then thrown away. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I'll um I don't think that's the end. Oh really? Yeah. Look, you see, for us consumers it might be, but the plastic bottle has its own journey after this with four different routes. It can first be sent to landfills with other waste. Plastic waste in landfills pollutes the land, takes space, and can pollute surrounding water sources such as aquifers. Also, plastic bottles take hundreds of years to decompose fully. Many Western countries also tend to ship their waste to other regions of the world. These include countries such as China, Malaysia and Senegal. Over the past 25 years, China has accepted more than half of the world's plastic waste imports, approximately 106 million metric tons of plastic waste. But with China recently enforcing waste regulations due to environmental concerns, other countries are now taking the role such as Thailand and Malaysia. This has led and can lead to infrastructure damage, decrease in biodiversity, clogging, a decrease in tourism and an increase in health problems. The billion dollar industry of plastic waste is many times illegal or succumbs to greenwashing to overcome the criticisms and appear more eco-friendly. The second route the bottle can take is incineration which effectively destroys the plastic and can even be used to create energy. However, it also increases noxious fumes and CO2 emissions, which for obvious reasons is not very ideal. The third route is into rivers and seas, which then end up in the ocean. Studies suggest that the total economic damage to the world's marine ecosystem caused by plastics is at least $13 billion every year. Plastic litter in the Asia-Pacific region alone costs its tourism, fishing and shipping industries $1.3 billion per year. In Europe, cleaning plastic waste from coasts and beaches costs about $630 million per year. Since a large part of plastic waste ends up in the ocean, around 10 to 20 million tonnes annually, large gyres of plastic in the oceans are formed. Gigantic garbage patches accumulate into gyres, such as the North Pacific Gyre, which contains nearly 2 trillion pieces of plastic weighing over 96,000 tonnes. Other effects include the destruction of marine ecosystems, health issues for animals, as well as us humans. Indeed, as plastics break down into microplastics, they can end up in our bodies when fish are digested, but also generally just through water and other foods such as rice. A study commissioned by the Worldwide Fund for Nature estimates that we ingest 5 grams of plastic or one credit card per week per person. The economic, health and environmental reasons to act are quite clear. The fourth route is bottles can be recycled and reused. However, not only are we currently not recycling enough, but things can only be recycled so many times. It is also an energy intensive work. Our current world system of recycling also tends to pollute a lot, since we transport this waste around the world just to be recycled. We clearly need to stop using plastic bottles as they have an environmental, economic and health impact. Unfortunately though, 
Some areas do not have access to clean water, as the infrastructure is ineffective, underfunded and unreliable, which can make plastic bottles the only viable option. Therefore, in order to transition to a non-plastic bottle world, adequate investment in water infrastructure and recycling plants must be made. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to learn more about climate and environment related videos, please give a like and subscribe.